caught my attention yesterday uh, for two reasons. I mean, Jesse Ventura didn't show up a whole lot as a wrestler on my radar screen, but he certainly did as the governor of Minnesota. Yeah, I feel the same way. I had no idea he was even a wrestler in the first place. Uh, so uh, Jesse just won a $1.8 million uh, settlement from the estate of... Uh, uh, Navy SEAL Chris Kyle, he's dead now. Mm -hmm. In uh, Chris's book, American Sniper, he claimed that he had punched out an unnamed celebrity who was running down America. And he even said that the SEALs, quote, deserve to lose a few in Iraq. This reportedly happened at a bar in 2006 during uh, a wake for another fallen soldier. So th this is the things that Chris was speaking about mm -hmm. abstractly in the book, but on his press tour hyping the book uh, Chris revealed that the celebrity was Jesse Ventura Jesse who served with the Navy's underwater uh, demolition team during Vietnam mm -hmm. claimed the story was made up and damaged his relationship with the military to the point that he could no longer attend UDT or SEAL reunions oh no well, if you remember, Kyle was shot to death last year by Eddie Ray Ruth a Marine veteran who had uh, post-traumatic stress disorder but Jesse didn't uh, drop the suit. So Jesse's lawyer said the lawsuit was not targeting Chris Kyle's widow, but her insurance company. And about half a million dollars of the settlement is being paid by the book's publisher. Now, we don't know if Chris's widow will have to pay anything out of pocket. Uh, after the verdict was uh, handed out, Jesse did say he was overjoyed to have his reputation restored, but he okay. said he still can't go to SEAL reunions because I'd have to spend my time looking over my shoulder. Mm, that's too bad. I don't know. I mean, if the story was false, I mean, do you really blame Jesse for going forward with the lawsuit? No, I don't. I mean, I the, don't. Guy, the guy lied. Yeah, I don't blame him. And uh, I don't know. There was some talk, and I'm curious what you'll think about this. Don't you think it would be a grand gesture for Jesse, who probably has enough money? Mm-hmm. Uh, to refuse that as sort of a gesture of goodwill to the to a military widow. That's what I was thinking too, but I'm not thinking that he'll do that. Uh, by the way, uh, the book sold really well, as you know, uh, so well in fact that Clint Eastwood bought the rights to turn it into a movie, and that's hmm. what he's working on right now. No kidding. Now yeah. that's one movie I need to see. Uh, I had a yeah, Navy SEALs. I'll tell you, even before. You know what's happened in the last few years, but Navy SEALs have certainly been on top of people's minds. You hear them, the pride. You just think your whole chest mm -hmm. gets filled with, with pride. Uh, when I was working in Virginia Beach, which uh, in that area is the largest naval base in the world. Matter of fact, every branch of the military is represented there. Uh, but I had a coworker who uh, her roommate was a Navy SEAL, and I remember one day we were having lunch, and she told me the story uh, of how his bedroom door was always closed, and then. A couple times, he'd leave on these trips, and he wouldn't, you know, she knew that it was work, it wasn't like a vacation, she knew that it was a work trip, but he wouldn't say anything about where, but she'd notice when she'd come home to the apartment, his bedroom door would be open just a little bit, but he was particular about it always being closed and locked Yes. any other time. And then she said, after a couple of those times, she asked him about why the door was open, and he said, listen, uh, you need to do something for me. When I leave, I never know if I'm coming home. So I leave that door open because in the center of my bed, you will find every important document that my family needs to have. And you will find all of my most cherished possessions and then instructions on what needs to be done with them. Wow. And she said it would happen so frequently that she didn't like walking through the front door of their apartment. Oh, I don't blame her. Like when he would go, she would stay with a girlfriend because she just didn't want to go into me. She said, I kept the promise. I had to go check, mm -hmm. you know, but I didn't want to go. Well, that's the, quite the commitment on his part. Man. See, I, if you forget what kind of sacrifice these men and women make, mm -hmm. I hope that serves as a reminder. I hope so, too. What they do is, uh, I mean, I, I always say it. There's, I'm not capable. I would not be capable. I am not man enough to make the commitment that they, that they do. Yeah, it takes quite the man, that's for sure, or the woman. Correct. So... More of that story can be found at 97zokonline.com. The Jesse Ventura story. Did they? Does it say like when that movie's going to come out? I don't know. Okay. Does not. Just There's they're no currently estate. in production. Okay. Well, hopefully maybe next year.